Hi, I'm Tim Trussler. I'm the head of the Online Learning Center here at Bates, and we want you to be successful, both in the college at large and specifically with those Canvas parts of your courses. So to that end, we've made a video walking through some of the basics of Canvas. We're going to give you an overview of Canvas, explain what it looks like and what you can do in it. We're going to show how to customize some of the features of Canvas, make it work best for you. We're going to walk you through a few of the tasks that you're going to be asked to do in Canvas, and then finally give you some troubleshooting tips so that if you run into problems, hopefully you can fix those. Most importantly though, if you can't, or if you can't log in, you run into any problems, please contact us and let us help you. You can call us at 253-680-7233. You can email us at olc at bates.ctc.edu, or if you're at the downtown campus, you can stop by and ask for assistance. We're in uh, room A125. That's next to the courtyard and right next to the library. Stop by and let us help you out. But however you decide to contact us, we want to get you up and running and solve your problems and get you going as fast as possible. Okay? Before we start in, let's answer a very basic question that some of you may not know, and that is simply, what is Canvas and what am I using it for? Well, Canvas is your online environment. Now, every teacher can customize it, but some of the things you might use it for are checking your assignments, checking your grades, checking due dates, maybe taking a quiz, submitting an assignment, posting a discussion board, basically anything that's an online part of your class, you're going to find that inside Canvas. Okay, so let's answer the first and most important question. In fact, it's the one we get asked more than every other question combined, and that's very simple. How do I get to Canvas and how do I log in? Well, in order to do that, you need to get to the Canvas login page. There's a lot of different ways to get it. There's different links on the Bates web page. If you're on the main Bates page, there's a drop down menu on the side. But what we recommend is simply typing the URL in directly, and that's bates.ctc.edu slash canvas. Okay? That will take you to the login page. By the way, you should see the Bates logo on that page. If you don't see that, you're at the wrong page. You might see a Canvas logo. You might see the logo from another college. If you see that, once again, type in that URL directly, bates.ctc.edu slash canvas. Once you're on the main page, you'll see those two boxes. Bates, it's very simple. In both of those, please enter your Bates ID number. So that nine digit number that you got when you registered, enter that into both boxes, click on login, and you should be in. If you run into difficulties logging in, the best thing you can do is click on that forgot password link. Most of you are familiar with that. It will simply send an email to your email address. And by the way, that's your Bates email address it'll be sent to. You open up that email, you click on the link, and you can reset your password. If for any reason that doesn't work, again, call us, email us, stop by. We want to get you in and running as fast as possible. Okay? So assuming that it works, you go to that login page, you put your Bates ID number in both of those, click login, and you're in. All right, now that we're in Canvas, let's show you how to customize it a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the Account button in the top left corner. Click on that and select Settings. By the way, a quick aside, a lot of people like putting a personal picture in there. If you simply put your mouse on the picture, click on the pencil, you can add or change your picture at any time. We're going to click on this Edit Settings button on the right-hand side, and you'll see some things that you can change. For example, your language, what time zone you're in. What we want to do is click on Change Password. And then this opens up the Change Password menu. Type in your old password, your Bates ID number. Type in the new password you want, confirm it, and then simply click on Update Settings in order to change your password. Next up over on the right hand side, you see the Ways to Contact section. This allows us to add an email and a cell phone. We're going to click on Add Email Address. And then in the Email Address box, you simply type in a personal email and then click on Register. And by the way, you will get a confirmation link sent to that email address. You do need to click on that link in order to confirm it, in order to add it. Same principle, add contact method, and we're going to add a cell phone this time. So type your number in, and then select your carrier, and click on Register SMS. And once again, it's going to send a four-character code to your cell phone. You simply type that into the box here and then click on Confirm. Related to that, now that we've added some ways of contact, we might want to dial those in a bit. So I'm going to click on Notifications up here at the top. 
and here you see the default settings for how Canvas is going to notify you. You can make it more or less depending upon your preferences. The check mark means that you'll find out instantly if something happens. If the clock is selected, that means that Canvas will send you a daily summary of activity. The calendar means you'll get a weekly summary of activity. And the X means please don't ever send me notifications about this. And some of these might be a little confusing and not obvious to you. So if you simply put your mouse over it, it'll explain the difference. For example, if you don't know the difference between what the discussion and discussion post settings are, put your mouse on it. It tells you discussion means notify you when there's a new discussion topic in your course, meaning when the teacher has posted a new discussion question. Discussion post means how often you want to be notified when someone posts of that discussion topic. So I like a little more notification. I'm going to change this one to daily and this one too instantly. Again, spend whatever time you want here, but you can dial this in the way that you want. And then our last bit of customization, we're going to go back to the dashboard. And if you don't like the way that this looks, you can simply click on the three dots here, the More button. And if you don't like the title, you can give it a much more simple title. For example, in this case, rather than that long title, I'm going to call it Precalculus. And if you don't like the color, you can change that as well. By the way, for those of you ferociously anal retentive about that, you actually can type in hex codes and get the exact color that you want. When you're done, click on Apply, and there you go. All right, now that you're in Canvas and you've navigated around a bit, we want to show you three basic tasks in Canvas. First, we want to show you how to submit an assignment. Second, we want to show you how to post to a discussion board. And third and finally, we want to show you how to view feedback. In addition to grades, a lot of times your instructors will give you feedback on an assignment, and we want to make sure that you can see that and learn from it. So we are looking at the home page of our course. Now keep in mind, every course can be organized a little different, but most of them use modules to navigate the course. So we're going to click on the modules link to the left-hand side. And we're going to scroll down. We want to look in Mod 0. We're going to click on the Is Online Learning for You link. And this should be fairly straightforward. You'll notice in the top right corner, there's a Submit Assignment button. You simply click on it, and your menu will appear. Click on Browse, and select the file that you would like to submit. By the way, if you mess up, you can click on Browse and select a different file. And if you want to add another file, simply click on that and add a second file. Once you're certain you've got everything right, simply click on Submit Assignment. Notice on the right-hand side, it does actually tell you it's been turned in. Always make sure you see that. And it gives you the submission details and it shows the files that you submitted. If you made any mistakes, by the way, for example, you now realize you should have submitted something different or an additional file, simply click on a resubmit assignment and go back and do the process again. Let's go back to our modules page because the next thing we want to do is post to a discussion board. So let's click on student introductions. Should be pretty straightforward, but a couple of things to be aware of. First, some people are confused because they don't see anyone else's postings. That's actually very common. Most instructors configure it so that you can't see other people's postings until you've posted your own. That way they know that it's your own work. And then once you've posted, you'll be able to see everybody else's work. The other thing is some people get confused because they don't really see an area to type their posting in. But if you simply click in this reply box, it will now expand, and you actually have a pretty robust interface here. As you see, you can format it, you know, make stuff bold and italicized. You can add tables, add pictures and videos, hyperlinks, all of that stuff. So you can actually configure your posting the way that you want it. Once you're done, simply click on Post Reply, and your entry should be posted to the discussion board, and you should see other people's postings as well. Lastly, we want to give you some troubleshooting tips. And again, if these don't work or if you're stuck, please call us, please email us, please stop by and talk to us. But here's a few tips for how to fix some problems that you might run into. And the first one that we offer is to use multiple browsers. Now, Canvas is actually optimized for Chrome, and so we recommend to use that. But sometimes, for whatever reason, Chrome doesn't work, so switching to a different browser, such as Firefox, sometimes will fix the problem. On the flip side, we do not recommend using Internet Explorer in order to do your coursework on Canvas. Related to that, sometimes a page or a button won't load properly within Canvas. If that happens, one thing you can do is to clear your cache. We're not going to show you how to do that because it's different depending upon the browser or the operating system, but if you simply Google clear cache, 
you should find very easy instructions showing you how to do that. Now, Canvas is technology. We happen to like the technology, but the fact is it's technology and technology can screw up. So, here's a few things you can do to protect yourself if that happens. First, if you're posting to a discussion board, if it's a short posting and you can retype it in 30 seconds, that's great. Type it in. But if you're typing in something longer, maybe something that's several paragraphs long, maybe something that takes you 15 minutes to an hour in order to type it in, we would recommend typing it in Word so that it's saved and you have a copy of it, and then copy and paste it into the Canvas discussion board. That way, if something happens and that posting isn't accepted, you have it saved and you can resubmit it. We'd hate for you to lose that hour of work. Also, always double check your confirmation when you submit an assignment. You should see that in the top right hand side once you're done and it should tell you the time, the date, what files were submitted. Make sure that that's right. Related, as you go through the course, always check your grades. You can do that by clicking on grades on the left hand side and make sure that Canvas and you agree as far as what you submitted and what grades you've received. If you see any discrepancy, please notify your teacher immediately. Also, if you're taking a quiz and get booted out or something crashes for any reason, so long as there's still time remaining in your quiz, you can simply re-enter and resume at the exact point where you left off. If you run into any of these issues or if you need to contact your instructor for any reason, please do it from within Canvas. You can click on the inbox on the left-hand side and send an email from within Canvas. The benefit of that to you is it's now tagged so that your instructor knows that it's coming from within Canvas and it's one of his or her students, and it's not just being sent from some outside email. Additionally, if there's ever a disagreement about something and you need to prove that you sent that email, there's now an audit trail so that you can go back and say, I sent this email and here's the time and date when I sent it off. It saves a record of that. And finally, do be aware that there is a Canvas app. It is available for any Android or Apple device. Simply go to your store, type in Canvas. You should see the logo and install the device. It is free and it gives you 24-7 access to your class from any mobile device. So this concludes our video. We hope that you found it very helpful. Again, if you run into any problems, please contact us. We're here to help you. But most importantly, we hope that you have a successful class and a successful academic career here at Bates.